for uh, related to natural product chemistry, including uh, the synthesis of the natural product and the biological activity, evolution of the compound. Yes, you can sit down uh, here, that's okay. Yeah, Professor Kokatsu, just yesterday he gave uh, his lecture in the Faculty of Medicine. Uh, the Faculty of Medicine, but Jeffrey, maybe uh, you attended the lecture yesterday. Uh, maybe no, maybe you don't know. Pueti, Pueti Norwaring Solikah, I invited him to the Faculty of Medicine. Yeah, because Pueti Norwaring also was in Kifu for two weeks, actually, recently. And yeah, after leaving to Jakarta, Professor Kakesu will go home to Gifu. And yeah, just maybe around 10 of September, one of our students, Miss Angit Fitria, will come to Gifu for one month under his scholarship. Yeah. So thank you very much, Professor Kasu. So the time is for you. Uh, please give your lecture in about 45 minutes and then uh, followed by discussion. Okay? Yeah, okay. time is for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, first of all, I'm really happy to be here to talk uh, about my, our project uh, in front of you. And thank you for inviting me. Okay. Okay, today I want to talk about uh, Maybe two topics, I think. And uh, actually, I'm an organic chemist, and our group synthesizes some organic compound, and also we check the biological activity. So, yes. Uh, today, we have a, I have a two topics I prepared. Uh, one is uh, uh, so naphtokinone derivatives, and also another one is uh, uh, car carbazolkinone derivative and uh, we synthesize such derivative compound and also we check the biological activity. Okay, and the uh, first topic is this one. Uh, some uh, medicinal plants, uh, especially tab, uh, Tabebuya uh, genus, uh, including such kind of very interesting compound, and we can say Lapacol or Lapacon or something like that, and uh, as you can see, a uh, kinone group, left kinone group, and uh, six membering or five membering, or sometimes dimer like this. So, and uh, previous work uh, from this plant uh, reported this type of compound, and uh, they checked the uh, anti cancer effect. And also from this flower, uh, isolated five membering here and here, and this plant also here, the five membering. So uh, this is uh, not a popular compound, very rare compound. So we synthesize the, the derivative of this type of compound, and uh, we want to check the structure, activity, and relationship. OK. Uh, this is the synthetic strategy of the, this derivative. First, uh, as a starting material we use, and uh, uh, formation I, 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 I will elite, uh, using this condition, we can introduce here. Then, uh, using sonora, sonogashira coupling uh, under the, this condition, we can introduce the uh, alkene group, triple bond, then, uh, using kappa uh, cyclization reaction, uh, we can get this five-membering compound. So, and uh, after that, uh, PCC oxidation, as you can see, uh, this alcohol becomes a ketone. So, using this uh, synthetic strategy, we prepare the some reaction. So, uh, this is a, a, a key intermediate, and then we try a uh, sonogracilla coupling and the cyclization in one pot. 
So, and uh, our student carried out this reaction, and uh, he got the uh, eight compound like this. So, and uh, activity is very strong, and uh, I see 50 uh, less than 10, and sometimes less than one uh, micromolar like this. So, and especially these three compounds are very strong, active. So next case, as you can see, this is just like this compound, and without uh, here only proton. But so yeah, and the five uh, yeah that's a five membrane, and also uh, here as you can see six membrane here, uh, pirano uh, naphtokinone, and uh, this one. Uh, also very interesting compound. So uh, using this reaction, uh, biosynthesis pathway, uh, this rubber core uh, synthesized in, in nature, then as an intermediate, this one, uh, it becomes the sixth membrane, but uh, this type or this type, okay? So, and uh, regarding this literature, literature survey uh, from some uh, medicinal plant isolated of this type of compound or this type of compound and the diameric compound and uh, also like this compound. So, and uh, we want to try to synthesize uh, again this type of compound. Here is a six membrane. So, this is a previous work. As you can see here, uh, already reported, this uh, synthesis of the lapacol. So using this condition, we can get this compound, but uh, yield is very low, only 5%. And uh, in this case, uh, yield is 40%, but uh, they have to use minus 78 degrees Celsius. So, and uh, this, in this case, uh, overall yield is 35%, not so bad, but uh, there, are, uh, there are one, two, three, four steps, and uh, it's uh, very time consuming, you know? So, uh, we use this condition. So, uh, using the HEC rea reaction, uh, we can introduce uh, here uh, this part and this one. And also, uh, we got uh, this com compound uh, at the same time. And uh, after that, oh, sorry, uh, using this compound, uh, we can get the six member in compound, our target compound like this. So, uh, this is a bio pathway of the, this type of compound. And as you can see from here, it becomes the epoxy size and the cyclized and uh, the uh, and minus water to be the, like this, okay? And uh, we try uh, this syn synthesis scheme uh, using chemical synthesis method. And as you can see, MCPBA, when we use, uh, we can get the epox epoxy like this. And then uh, acetic condition, it becomes the uh, cyclic ring. Uh, this uh, part and this part, and also uh, this six membrane, we, maybe we, we can get it, I, we, we thought. But when we uh, check the structure uh, using NMR or spectral data, uh, this is not correct structure. So finally, we couldn't decide the uh, compound four structure. This structure is correct. and that. This is the reaction mechanism. As you can see, this carbonic uh, oxygen attack to the here, so it becomes uh, two A this compound. So, and also three A compound, uh, this uh, carbonyl attack to here, left side. And uh, also this one, uh, this one attack. Uh, this OH oxygen attack to here, so it becomes a uh, 4A compound like this. 
So anyway, we, we could get such type of compound uh, using this condition. So, and uh, we checked the uh, several reaction condition. And uh, as you can see here, so uh, without acid, uh, when we, uh, we, we can get three type of compound, and the yield is like this, 7%, 42%, and the 28% like this. And next, uh, another condition, uh, we add more the, uh, in the presence of uh, MCPBA uh, from 1 to 1.2 equivalent to be the two, two equivalent. And uh, as you can see, 4A is a, a predominant in this reaction. So, and also our students carry out so many conditions like this. When we use uh, trifluoroacetic acetic acid, uh, 2A is a predominant, you know? And uh, another condition, uh, uh, sometimes only 2A and uh, sometimes no uh, 4A compound because of the acid condition, you know? So anyway, uh, we, our students carry out so, so many conditions and uh, we got several <coughs> compounds like this. This is, uh, yeah, here, only proton here. But, and also he, they check uh, here, methoxy group, uh, six and seven position. So uh, using this uh, substitute, uh, you, without acid, uh, my, my student got only uh, two type of compound, three type of compound. But four, com four type of compound we cannot get. Uh, actually, we don't know why, but uh, when we introduce, the, uh, there is a OH group here, uh, for a compound we cannot get. So anyway, uh, many conditions he carry out and uh, he got some several type of compound like this. So, and uh, next, okay, uh, from this compound, uh, using this condition, it become the, like this, uh, remove the water here, and then uh, it become the ring opening, then uh, o oxygen attack to here. So, and uh, we got uh, this type of compound. And uh, after that, uh, using titanium chloride, it become like this. Be uh, structures changing like this. And uh, using this condition, uh, ben palladium chloride, it becomes the uh, double bond was uh, saturated, so uh, unsaturated, so. And uh, also using this condition, uh, we can introduce the OH group like this. Especially this uh, reaction, as you can see here, when we use uh, titanium chloride, uh, titanium uh, coordinated to into here, and uh, also opening, opening, and then a uh, carbonyl group attack to here. That's why from this compound, from this compound uh, become the, this type of compound. This is a reaction mechanism, we, be, we believe. So next, uh, using Rapacol, this one. So, and uh, when we use the acidic condition, it becomes the, like this type of compound. And uh, in the case of this compound, and compare with this, uh, here is different, you know. And uh, using the same uh, acidic condition, it becomes a uh, five membrane, not a six membrane, you know. And uh, this is uh, the action mechanism, we believe. Uh, first, a uh, Kryzen rearrangement, it becomes like this. And then, a uh, carbonyl group attacked here and uh, then oxygen attack to here, here, and it's become the five membrane like this. So this is a reaction mechanism, I, we believe. So, 
。うん。OK。えー、っと。Okay. And、uh, next, we try to synthesize dimer, dimer, dimer group like this、uh, use, use, using this compound as a st、uh, starting material. And uh, then, uh, using this condition, we can get the dimer, dimer compound like this. And、uh, yield is 23, 63, or some, something like that. Okay. And、uh, using beta lapa cone. Here and、uh, using this acidic condition, we got this compound and also this compound. And、uh, if we got、uh, this compound using this condition, we can protect it here, and then using this condition, it becomes also di dimeric compound, we can get it. So, and、uh, We confirm the structure by NMR. As you can see here, this is a proton NMR of this compound. So, as you can see, 5.17 ppm, there is a one proton. So, it is、uh, this part, this position. So, and、uh, as you can see, 2D NMR, carbon, proton, and carbon, you can see the、uh, cross coupling peak here. So, We can say this proton、uh, should be、uh, G position here, like this. And、uh, after that, we got、uh, this type of compound. And as you can see here,、uh, around 5 ppm, but this is two proton. And also, check 2D NMR. But in this case,、uh, this proton.、Uh, Not to connect linked to connect it to the carbon, so there is no cross coupling. It means this two proton is a,、uh, this OH group proton, like this, and、uh, two proton also reasonable. So that's why we could decide the structure. And also, because of dimer,、uh, molecular weight almost two, two times higher, and this molecular ion.、Uh, Shows the、uh, compound was is this structure. So, and also we got a, a single crystal, and、uh, we carry out the X ray analysis, and、uh, we can discuss about the、uh, stereochemistry too. So, as you can see, this each dimer,、uh, one beta lapa cone moiety was observed.、Uh, Be roughly、uh, perpendicular to each other, just like this.、Uh, like this. So, and、uh, also, we carry out、uh, another compound so to synthesize.、Uh, using this condition, we got this type of compound,、uh, we believe. But in this case, unfortunately, we couldn't get this type of compound. And because NMR data is quite different. So,、uh, according using uh, NMR, uh, this 2A peak、uh, in HMBC,、uh, we can get the long range coupling. So, but in this case, just like this. But it's not reasonable data. So,、uh, because of、uh, this 2D NMR, as you can see, A linked with B, observe the long range coupling to be B, and also a B proton a can observe the a B and A just like this. So,、uh, so that's why、uh, our compound must be this compound, not this type of compound. And to the NMR, especially long range coupling, HMBC is a very powerful tool to decide the structure like this. So, in、uh, this case,、uh, we carry out this reaction. And、uh, first, we propose d、uh, this structure. As you can see, proton A、uh, observes the long range coupling、uh, between. B carbon and A carbon here and here. So、uh, this structure is correct.
So anyway, we synthesized several type of compound and uh, we check the cytotoxicity, uh, uh, human leukemia cell. It's a, a kind of a cancer cell. So regarding, uh, according to this uh, result, as you can see, this type of compound, uh, two, two series compound and the three series compound and uh, nine series and 10 series show the very strong uh, anti-cancer effect like this. So, and the torox, yeah, torox is a positive control and uh, compared with torox, our compound is stronger. So, and uh, this compound, a similar structure, but in this case, uh, very weak uh, activity. This one also shows a strong activity like this. So, yes. So anyway, uh, this is summarized, and uh, we synthesize several type of compound, and uh, most of compound very strong, but compared with this one, uh, this type of compound is stronger than uh, those, so, yes, and this one, and some compound show the less than 10 micromolar, uh, IC50. So, uh, but this result, uh, we published uh, two, two publications, one is a, a chemical pharmaceutical bulletin, and the one is a, another one is a chemical med, uh, medicinal chemistry. So. Actually, our student working in our lab uh, for three years, and during three years, uh, most of the case one paper we can publish, but sometimes two or three paper. Uh, so I'm so happy that uh, our laboratory member, our student works so hard. So, okay. This is the next topic, another topic, and uh, regarding carbazolokinon. Uh, 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 Carbazol quinone is uh, uh, just like this. This is alkaloid, you know, uh, including nitrogen here. And uh, previously, this type of compound uh, isolated from this type of comp uh, fl ma material, uh, medicinal plant, and, uh, and also uh, already uh, reported the biological activity. So, and uh, this time we try to synthesize this type of compound and that we will check uh, structure activity relationship. So uh, using this condition, uh, we got uh, this type of compound and uh, in this condition, there is a two type of compound, a, comp a type compound and the B type of compound and uh, compound uh, entry two also, but entry three to six, uh, there is no B type of compound, just only this compound, so. And uh, next, uh, cross ring reaction using paradigm, okay? And uh, now we have eight compound, condition and uh, carry out eight, eight uh, entries. So as you can see, uh, we got this type of compound using paradigm condition. So uh, we also check the cytotoxicity uh, human leukemia cell. So as you can see, uh, every compound shows a very strong active com act activity and compared with positive control, we use a uh, through oro ura cell, and uh, this one, uh, IC50, 428 micromolar, when we carry out this assay system. But compared with those, every compound shows uh, very strong, uh, sometimes less than one uh, micromolar, IC50. So, okay, next. Uh, as you can see, in this case, here is nitrogen, NH. And uh, also we want to try to uh, make uh, uh, another, uh, another atom here. Uh, 
oxygen, sulfur, and selenium. So uh, using this condition, uh, nitrogen is easy to get. And also, uh, in the case of sulfur, uh, we got the 64%. But our student uh, carry out a uh, similar condition using phenol and uh, uh, phenylserenol, but unfortunately we couldn't get uh, any uh, product. So uh, we changed the reaction condition. Uh, we use the chloride here and uh, also uh, K2CO3 so uh, students can get uh, this compound. And also uh, regarding selenium, we prepare the diselenide like this. So, and uh, using uh, chloride, uh, we can introduce the selenium atom like this. So, and uh, anyway, this is summarized the yield. As you can see, nitrogen is uh, most reactive of this cyclization uh, condition. So as you can see, nitrogen, 87%, oxygen, 24%. And uh, sulfur and selenium, uh, we use uh, different condition. Anyway, uh, 3.7 or 3.4 yield. So uh, we want to uh, know the reason why. So uh, first, anyway, uh, we try to check the literature survey, and uh, we found a similar co uh, reaction condition. So according to the literature survey, in this reaction, uh, palladium attacked here. Then after that, as an intermediate, uh, acetic acid a hydride a coordinate, uh, two acetic acid coordinate like this, or uh, one uh, acetic acid coordinate like this, and then uh, cyclized and uh, remove the uh, palladium, and it become our uh, final product. So uh, we want to know which intermediate is more easy or more important. So uh, using computer uh, calculation, uh, we try this, as you can see, this is a reaction uh, reactant. This is a final of a product. So, and uh, we calculate each step and uh, four type of compound, uh, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, and selenium. As you can see, uh, this intermediate uh, tra uh, not intermediate, uh, transition state. So uh, one acetic acid is more stable than two acetic acid. So uh, reaction should uh, pass through this uh, condition. It means uh, one acetic acid is, is more stable and uh, it's a reasonable reaction mechanism ac according to the result of the computer simulation. And uh, as you can see, uh, energy, uh, nitrogen is uh, 26, but uh, selenium 32, it's, uh, how do you say, uh, agree with uh, 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 reaction, uh, agree with the product yield, you know? And uh, nitrogen yield is very high and the selenium yield is very low. So uh, we, we, can, uh, we can accept the, this one, uh, this ca calculation data result. So, okay, so yeah, just like this. So, and uh, also we check the uh, cytotoxicity of those type of compound. As you can see, these three compounds doesn't show the activity. Only this compound shows very strong uh, cytotoxicity. So uh, this type compound and the uh, previous compound, this type of this compound and this compound uh, 
show the very strong activity. So we want to know the mechanism of uh, uh, cytotoxicity against, against the cancer cell. So we check the uh, quantitation of the cellular uh, reactive oxygen species level. So as you can see, compared with control, uh, when we, that's also this one we, I should tell, uh, read, uh, intracellular and uh, extracellular, outside and inside itself, uh, ROS level in compound 3A, 3, uh, 6A, 6B uh, treated uh, cancer cell. Cell were treated with one micromolar of three compound for three hours. So, and uh, after that, we check the uh, loss level uh, using NBT reduction assay performed to determine cellular ROS level and, and the result and will quantify the relative untreated control. So anyway, uh, when we check the uh, amount of the uh, loss level, uh, 3A and 6A, uh, loss level is very high, uh, more than uh, two times uh, compared with control. So when we add this type of compound in, in just into cell, uh, generate a loss reactive oxygen species, that's why uh, cancer died, we believe. So, and also we check the apoptosis uh, when we introduce two type of compound. As you compare with control, as you can see, the uh, s small particle like this, it, it shows the uh, apoptosis body uh, when we introduce this type of compound. So, okay. And uh, also we publish uh, uh, this data. Yeah, this one impressed, but just, just next, next week or this week, I, I got the pa pages. Maybe next, next month it, it will be published. So, okay. And uh, just finished two topics. So, uh, my laboratory uh, work is a natural product chemistry, isolation, uh, some organic compound from medicinal plant. And uh, now I have a uh, Indian guy and uh, Myanmar and also in Indonesian guy. So some students uh, bring the extract from Indonesia or Malaysia. So and uh, also uh, in our laboratory, isolate some compound. And sometimes uh, we got the noble compound, new compound. So and uh, we name some uh, compound some, uh, by ourselves. And also, uh, we carry out the organic synthesis using commercial available uh, reagent and uh, we modification. Today I talk about this, this, this one already published, this is those data. And also this is uh, a lutein, lutein. Uh, skeleton is a calcetin. Calcetin is a very popular uh, flavonoid, especially in onion, you know. And uh, we carry out many type of, in this case, maybe 20 or 30 compound we uh, prepared, introduce the glucose or uh, garlic acid or uh, methoxy group or something. And then we check the structure uh, activity relationship. And also uh, this in including selenium and uh, this is a nuclear, nuclear acid. So, and, uh, oh, I don't know why. Uh, anyway, uh, this is our uh, map, Japanese map. We have uh, four big islands, and uh, we give is belong to the main island, Honshu Island. And as you know, uh, Osaka and Tokyo is the big, biggest city in Japan, and GIF is the center of Japan, and uh, very close to uh, Nagoya. Um, from Nagoya, by train only one hour and uh, easy to come. And our 
uh, Gifu University. This one comes in long anyway. Uh, south part of Gifu Prefecture, so easy to come to our university. So, and also, uh, uh, when we go to the Tokyo using Shinkansen Express, we can see the World Heritage uh, Mount Fuji, just like this. So, and uh, we we have uh, several foreign students, and uh, when we receive the when we receive the. A foreign student or researcher, we have a farewell, a welcome party or farewell party every time. So in this case, uh, Egyptian come to our lab, so uh, he gave us the many gifts for every student, and the uh, students so excited to, to get this one. And as you can see, this is papy papyrus, and uh, this is pyramid, and uh, this is sphinx or something. Yeah. And, uh, they are Muslim, the same as you, so we don't have a, uh, alcohol here. Just eat okonomiyaki here, <laughs> like this. Okay. And uh, also, summertime, we have a, a camp uh, with, with uh, some uh, foreign students. In this time, uh, two Indian, Indian guys uh, come to uh, visit us uh, for only one month, so uh, we ask foreign students come to uh, summer season, especially for after. And uh, as a progress meeting, uh, we, we carry out the progress meeting in the camping place. And after that, we have a barbecue party and the firework together. So this is also another year. And the Indonesian, my old student, uh, bring uh, her daughter. So, and uh, Malaysian also here, and the Indonesian. And, and the, she got a, a PhD in my lab maybe seven years ago or something. And the, he, she returned to the Sumatra Island. And now she, yeah, for, fortunately, last year I, I had a very good news. She, she became the full professor. So, and the, so just this morning I got the email from uh, Professor Molina. And she, she organized some ceremony in his university, Benku ben University. But that, that news is too late because I have to go to India, <laughs> and <a> conference. <laughs> Already I bought the air ticket and also reserved the uh, hotel and the Indian visa, everything. So last year I, I attended the UNS, ben, Professor Bentis, in the ceremony. But she is not my student. But she is my student. I want to go, <laughs> but <laughs> that information is too late, you know. So I I couldn't attend that one. And also, he is from also Sumatra Island. But now he is he is working in the uh, Kalimantan Islamic University. So last month uh, he invited me, and I I stay three three nights there. So. I, I gave some talk in, in that area. So, and uh, this time, uh, she is a Malaysian, and um, uh, from UKM, National University of Malaysia. So, after uh, Malaysia, she's working some very big uh, oil company, but she she is interested in come to Japan. So, she chose our university and. Uh, we started, just started a global course in, for a master course. So she's the first batch of the uh, global course of a master course. And after that, uh, I have some friend, uh, some venture company uh, in Kyoto. So I asked pro, uh, president, now she's working in Kyoto. So, and uh, already uh, get married with a Malaysian guy and uh, stay in Japan. Too so, and that he she is Indian guy, so and also she, he's come from he come from Africa, Nigeria, and uh, also Narish Kumar is here, yeah. This week he will come right, this weekend, so, and uh, he gave us talk uh, for the master course student in, in in our university, so and also I last year. Uh, 
uh, I organized uh, this conference, uh, as you can see, uh, Asian Network for Natural and Unnatural Material uh, 6 uh, last year, before uh, Jumina organized here this conference. So it was so nice. And uh, so, um, as you can see, uh, I use the international conference room of uh, Nagaragawa Convention Center, and uh, also we we take a boat and uh, to see the uh, fish catch, catch fishing, Komoran uh, fishing we call uh, more than two, one thousand, can maybe, and uh, continue this one. And then second day we have a satellite campus uh, close to the uh, JR station we have, and uh, uh, anyway today uh, almost 120 participants and uh, 90 foreign, foreign, foreign researchers, and especially many Indonesian, 55, uh, from uh, Gajamada, IPB, uh, Andalas, uh, UNS, well, many, many. So, and uh, also uh, this type of international conference uh, very important for our students. Uh, for our student, uh, I prepared a poster session. So uh, our Japanese student uh, talk with international professor. So uh, they have to practice uh, English, and also they have to prepare the poster and spend so much time. Anyway, this is they, they are very good experience for our uh, Japanese student because. Uh, uh, I, our, fac our faculty is the uh, Faculty of Engineering, and uh, our gift area is very close to the Nagoya, and the Toyota are located in the Nagoya area, and uh, most of the students go to Toyota-related company, group company. So most of the uh, graduate students work in Toyota. It means not only Japan, they have to move to uh, Indonesia or India because uh, many population and a very big, big market because of many population in Indonesia and the economy also grown up in Indonesia and India. So uh, that's why uh, English is very important communication for communication. So, okay. And uh, as you can see this one, uh, we, we have a partner university, sister university, around 46 or six almost 650, and uh, all over the world, especially Indonesia, as you can see, uh, Andalas and Lampung and the IPB, Gajamada, uh, UNS, Sabaras Malat, and another university also. This is a university level, and the faculty, faculty level also we have. So actually, our university, foreign student, Number one is China, but next now uh, Indonesia, and next Malaysia. Maybe before, maybe five years, 50% uh, Chinese, but now it's 30% Chinese, and 15% uh, Indonesian, 15% also Malaysian. So we have many Indonesian uh, students in our university, Malaysian. So, and uh, as you know, we. We know you are Muslim, so uh, close to our university, just walking distance, uh, we have a mosque, gift mosque, and uh, some uh, president donate this building. It's very expensive, but so it's very good for Muslim uh, country. Uh, for example, not only Indonesia, Malaysia, Egypt, or Iran, Iraq, also we have some students, so they are using this place. So, and uh, Gifu University alumni in Indonesia, as you can see, uh, Ma, Diao, uh, Bun Hatta, West Sumatra, and uh, maybe here, uh, Bogor, IPB, Bandung, Gajamada, UII, Severus Marat, UNS, uh, Marawan, or Bengu, or something like that. Anyway, many students uh, we, ha we have. 
and uh, they're a very big group in, in our university, Indonesia, and they bring family also. That's why it's become a very big group like this. Okay. And uh, this is our campus because we have a, a, a hospital. We have a Dr. Heri, and uh, this is a, uh, our campus. You can see a library is a center and a library brick building. Another building is white like this. So, and uh, this is our campus. So, sometime uh, light up, especially Christmas season we have. So, and uh, very uh, beautiful campus sometime. So, anyways, thank you very much. Muda, uh, Mudasa, Mudasa, and uh, Jimina, of course, because of this uh, World Cross Professor program. So, and uh, this is our <coughs> uh, engineering. And uh, as you can see, tree is very s small, right? And uh, it's growing up, grown up. Now is a tourism of a building like this. So, okay, terima kasih.